Hi friends, Christy here from makingitinthemountains.com and today I am so excited to take you on a tour of our 1970s house turned DIY farmhouse. Okay friends, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for joining me today. Now, as I said in my intro, I am really excited to be taking you on a tour of our DIY farmhouse today. Now, this old house from the 70s was our very first fixer upper, and it has come such a long, long way in the five years that we've lived here. Now, I'm not gonna get into all of the before and afters today. I wanna save that for another video so I can really dive into them. But I will say that what we've been able to accomplish in just five years absolutely amazes me. I cannot believe how far we've come. Now, before we get into the tour, I did wanna take a minute to mention that I have a post over on my blog, makingitinthemountains.com, that goes through all of the design details, the DIY projects, and the decor items in each and every space of our home. So I will be sure to leave a link to that at the top of the description box below in case you see anything that you have questions about, whether it be paint colors or a specific item item that you see in a space, you are definitely going to want to check that out because it has all the details that you need to know. Now as I tour you through all the different spaces, I'm not giving a ton of details in this video simply because it would take forever to go through each and every item. So if you find yourself wondering about anything at all, pop on over to that blog post and it will give you all of the information that you're wondering about. And of course, if you have any questions at all about anything you see, be sure to leave them in the comments below. Okay, so let's get this tour started. All right, friends, welcome to our home. This is our front entryway. It's the first thing you see when you enter our front door. I love how big and open it feels. We've got a six foot round mat at the front door, so lots of room for boots and shoes when we have visitors. A front closet to hold everyone's jackets. And then it's nice and open to our living room and dining area and kitchen. And that's our sweet pup, Charlie. He's just hanging out in the sunshine, wondering what I'm doing. Anyways, our front entryway is open right to our living room. And I'm just gonna pan around here so you can get an idea of what the layout is here. So back to our front door, and then around to our staircase, which leads upstairs to all of the bedrooms. And then we've got a vintage dresser to store like our keys and all sorts of things that you need access to at the front door and then around to our front closet. Okay, so let's walk into our living room space. Now this is just to the left of the front entry. It is nice and open to our dining area and our kitchen. There used to be a big wall separating this space which we actually took out in a renovation a couple of years ago. I'll leave a link to all the details about that in the description box below for you. So our living room has a big sectional along with two side chairs which provides lots of seating for when we're entertaining but it's also super cozy to curl up here at night and watch a movie with the family. My favorite thing about this space is how open and airy it feels. There's tons of natural light flowing in from the windows. And I love that it is all open to the kitchen, the dining area, and the living room. It makes it the perfect spot to gather with our family and friends.
obviously with that wall coming down between the living room and the kitchen, our living room space was not the only room that saw a massive transformation. Taking down that wall not only made this space more open to the rest of our main floor, but best of all, we were able to create a kitchen space that functioned so much better for our family. Now I actually shared a complete tour of our finished kitchen space, including inside all of our drawers and cabinets and how we chose to lay things out. So I will be sure to leave a link to that video in the description box below for you. So tucked in behind our front closet is a hallway to the back of our house. So this includes our mudroom, our powder room, and our back family room space. Just to the left here is our pantry space. And then to the right, we have a door to our basement and a door to our garage. And just to the left here is our mudroom space, which not only houses our laundry, but also has the door to our backyard. Before our renovation, our laundry lived down in the basement, which was super inconvenient considering I had to bring everything down from way upstairs. So you can imagine how excited I was to finally have laundry on my main floor. Now just off of our mudroom space is our powder room. Now this is the only bathroom on our main floor, but it's in a really great location. It is removed enough from our living spaces so that we have privacy when we're using it. But I love how close it is to the back door so that when we're outside, it is super easy to just pop in and use the bathroom when we need to. This was another space that saw a major transformation in our renovation. I will be sure to leave a link to all of the information about that in the description box below. Because this is such a hub for our home, we made sure to put in tons of extra storage into this space. Just in behind our mudroom space is our back family room. This is where we typically gather together as a family for a cozy night in. Like the rest of our main floor, this space saw a pretty major transformation as well. So not only did it see new flooring and wall treatments and lighting, but we actually ended up moving a wall in this space as well. It used to be this long, narrow room, and we moved the wall in a bit to make it a bit smaller and more of a square shape, which not only made this room feel cozier, but it also gave us some extra space for our mudroom as well. You can read all about that renovation on my blog. I'll be sure to leave a link to that in the description box below.
Okay, so now let's head back down the hallway towards our main living spaces on this main floor. Okay, so now we're gonna go past the front door, past the corner gallery wall, and up the stairs to the bedroom. So you'll notice that straight ahead at the top of the stairs is our main bathroom and then there's a long hallway down to all of the bedrooms to the left. Off to the right here at the top of our stairs is our master bedroom. Now, like the rest of our house, this space has undergone a pretty major transformation as well. It didn't involve moving any walls or anything, but adding new paint, lighting, and furniture has totally transformed this space. If you want to read more about that, I will leave a link in the description box below so that you can read all about our master bedroom. Okay, so tucked off to the side of our master bedroom are our master closet and our master bathroom. We actually renovated our master closet with our own custom designed um, closet system. Now this is something that can be easily adapted to anybody's closet space. So I will leave a link to the post all about how we built this in the description box below for you just in case this is something that you want to take on yourself too. And then off to the left here is our master bathroom. Now this is a space that we actually haven't really touched much besides a coat of paint on the walls and new lighting and some new faucet fixtures. We haven't done a thing to this space. Now there's a lot we would like to do to this space, 
but with it being so freshly renovated just before we bought it five years ago, it's really hard to justify putting that at the top of the priority list right now. So for now, we're happy living with it just the way it is. Okay, so now I'll take you down the hallway to the other bedrooms and our main bathroom. So let's start with our main bathroom here. Now, it's incredibly hard to pick favorites when we've renovated so many spaces in this house, but I love, love, love the character that we were able to bring into this bathroom. This bathroom was a total gut job from top to bottom. I will leave a link to the blog post with all of the details about this space, including all of the DIYs in the description box below. Okay, so just across the hall from our main bathroom is our guest room. This was a space we took on a couple of years ago. Now, it wasn't a major renovation by any stretch of the imagination. It really was just some new paint, some new lighting, and new furniture, but it completely transformed this space. Now, I think it is the perfect cozy, welcoming space for our guests to stay. Okay, now before we head on to the rest of the bedrooms, I just wanna take a minute to mention our hallway as well. This was one of the first spaces we renovated when we moved into this house, and I still cannot believe the transformation. I still can't believe the difference a bit of paint and new trim can make to really update the feel of our home. Okay, so let's continue down the hallway to the very end where we have Carson's bedroom. Now, Carson is eight years old, this was actually the first space we renovated in this house when we moved in. So at the time, Carson was only three. Besides painting out the walls with this deep green color a couple of years ago, not much has changed in this space since we first renovated it. But after five years, I am definitely getting the itch to make a few changes in this space. So you'll have to stay tuned to see what I've got up my sleeve. Just beside Carson's bedroom is his playroom space. Now we would love to move this space downstairs to the basement when it's finished, but for now, 
with five bedrooms upstairs and only three of us living here, this has been a great space to set up all of Carson's toys. It's been about two or three years since we renovated this space as well, but I will be sure to leave a link to all of the DIY projects and decor items pictured in this space in the description box below. Just across the hallway from Carson's playroom is my office space. Now this is another one of those rooms that I would love to relocate to another area in our home once we've got the basement finished, but for now, this bedroom has been a great spot to set up office. Now in all of our renovating, my office has actually moved around a few different times since we moved in. So you might notice that this space is not quite as decorated as some of the other spaces in our home, but I'm hoping to change that once we finish up with our basement renovation soon. All right friends, I hope you enjoyed this tour of our DIY farmhouse. As I said at the beginning, if there's any design details or DIYs that you are wondering about, pop on over to my blog with the link in the description box below and you can find all the information you're looking for there. If you like this video, I would love for you to give it a thumbs up below and subscribe to my channel for even more farmhouse style DIY, decor, and recipe ideas. Thank you so, so much for watching.